Living in the community can be a new experience as you come to college. To maintain health, safety, and comfort, we have rules that we refer to as community standards. The complete community standards can be found online, and you're going to want to read through them prior to moving into your housing assignment. If you are found potentially in violation of a community standard, you will meet with a professional staff member that serves as a community standards hearing officer. In this meeting, you'll talk about what happened and reflect on the choices and behaviors. While we hope that residents will abide by community standards, we understand that mistakes happen, which is why we take a restorative justice approach that centers around care for the community, repairing harm, and education of our policies. We want to provide you with some of the most common community standards violations so you can think about what it means to live in a community with others and also set yourself up for success. The top five community standards violations are 1. Quiet hours and courtesy hours. Quiet hours and courtesy hours are set to create a comfortable environment for relaxing, studying, and sleeping. While you may like to turn up your music, yell at your video games, or celebrate your sports team victories at home, your neighbors may not appreciate this. Quiet hours are Sunday through Thursday, 10 p.m. to 8 a.m., and Fridays and Saturdays, midnight to 10 a.m. Possession of alcohol and large gatherings. CSU Monterey Bay acknowledges the use of alcohol by students of legal age as a personal choice, and all students are aware that California state law prohibits alcoholic beverages from being sold or given to any student under the age of 21. We expect and encourage responsible drinking behaviors by those individuals who are of legal age and who consume alcoholic beverages while respecting the rights of those individuals who otherwise choose not to use alcohol. Animals. All animals that enter the residential communities must be approved prior to entering the residential communities. It is your and your roommate's responsibility to report any unapproved animal in the residential communities. Fire safety. Residents are required to comply with all fire safety rules and regulations, including restrictions of candles, incense, and open flames on campus. This also includes prohibited items that pose a fire risk. Littering and trash. Littering is prohibited. As a resident in this community, it is your responsibility to dispose of your personal trash in a dumpster outside of the residential communities, on main campus, and in the provided trash receptacles in East Campus. Occupying another bed space. All unassigned living units, rooms, and bed spaces must always be prepared and ready for a new licensee or roommate, or the current licensee may be charged $50 per day damage charges and any additional cleaning fees that may result. This can also result in disciplinary action and the cost of occupying the additional living unit, room, or bed space. This is a violation of your license agreement. While living in our residential communities, you may want to have friends visit that are not part of the CSUMB community. Before you invite your friends for the weekend, please review our guest policy. As your guest's host, you will be responsible for their behavior. To maintain the comfort and safety of the communities for all residents, guests are held to the same community standards as residents.